Hello guys, and welcome to your very first Java tutorial. Uh, now, you may be experienced in other programming languages, or you may be completely new to programming. Uh, this tutorial series doesn't assume that you're familiar with programming languages, so it should be uh, smooth for everyone. Anyways, in this first tutorial, we're, all we're going to do really do is just set up. Now, we're going to need two things. We need, we're going to need to download two things in this tutorial. Now, one of them is the Java JDK, and uh, which is simply allows you to compile all Java programs, Java code on your computer, and actually run them. And the second thing is the Eclipse IDE, or Integrated Development Environment, which will allow you to conveniently edit and also compile your code. So let's get the Java JDK. Simply go to Google and you're going to want to type in Java SE. Yeah, there we Yeah, sorry. JDK. Uh, and SE stands for Standard Edition. Uh, and JDK stands for Java Development Kit. So click on the first link that comes up here. You should be taken to the official Oracle page uh, for Java. Uh, scroll down here uh, to the Java download section or the Java development kit uh, download section. Hit, hit the download button and you should be brought to this page where all you need to do is at first click accept license agreement and then select uh, uh, your version um, of Java. Uh, since right now I'm running Windows Vista, it's a 32-bit version of Windows Vista, I'm, I, I would click on Windows x86. This download link here, and it would begin downloading. Simply uh, hit run there. Uh, all, all, all it'll give you is a nice uh, installer. Uh, anyways, go through the installer, get that stuff downloaded, and uh, once you have, uh, continue on and go to this website here, eclipse.org. Hit enter, and uh, right on this website, all you're going to want to do is uh, go to the download section of the page. Um, well, there are many Java uh, IDEs or Java editors, but Eclipse is the one I like most. Uh, they have Eclipse for many languages. Uh, primarily used for I primarily use Eclipse for Java. Anyways, there are going to be three options here that you're going to see. Uh, honestly, I would I would select Eclipse IDE for Java EE developers just because it's kind of like this the standard IDE and a uh, little extra stuff. And you know, you never know. You never, you know, the more the better. Uh, you might need to use it. You might not. Anyways, you'll you'll just have it uh, uh, beside yourself uh, as a toolkit. The EE set. Okay. So, anyways, on this page, simply select your version of um, select your operating system, and you should be. Uh, the download should start and you should be good to go. Select a mirror and uh, then select save. And by the way, this uh, Eclipse package is in the form of... Uh, it's one second. Uh, I, need to, I need to select the proper location. Yeah, the Eclipse... Um, package is in a form of a dot zip file as you can see here and uh, that all that all that means is that you need an unarchiving program such as WinRAR and just search that up on uh, Google as well to download it uh, so you can actually unzip this uh, package uh, you might already have WinRAR you might not uh, anyways just get it if you already have it, then great. Uh, I'll use the power of video editing to zoom ahead uh, in this video, so the download will... Hey guys, look at that. Video editing is amazing, isn't it? We're finished with the download. 
and uh, right, copies, uh, great. Alright, so once you have, or you simply want to click the open button, uh, allow, and there we go. You should get, using your uh, unarchiving program, such as WinRAR, you should get uh, some something of this sort. You get an Eclipse folder. Now what you're going to want to do with this Eclipse folder is to copy it into uh, any desirable location. Uh, I will copy it in my public folder, to my public folder. Uh, simply drag it over. Uh, looks like unarchiving this quite large file will take some time. I will pause the video. Once again, with the magic of video editing, we should be there in no time. That, guys, we have it downloaded. Don't you love video editing? Yes, I do too. Now, let's get on with it. The Eclipse folder should be right here uh, in your download location. Once you open it, you should see this bunch of files in here. All you're really going to want is this main application file right here. Make a shortcut to this on your desktop, wherever you want. Uh, I really don't care. Uh, anyways, let's get on with it. Double click on this, and that was kind of a fail. Anyways, let's double click on this, and you should see the nice Eclipse uh, startup logo. Ah, uh, yeah, you know what I really love about Eclipse? It, yeah, it makes it makes everything really simple, really easy, really easy to edit and compile code. Uh, very, very nice, convenient layout. So, anyways, I think you'll really enjoy working with it. Uh, it's a really neat tool. So, yeah, you know, we're just we're just chatting here casually, waiting for this, you know, Eclipse to load up. I don't th I don't think I want uh, you know to do any more editing for today. Okay, this is taking slightly longer, so I will simply uh, kind of just close casually close my my windows here. Uh, and bam, there we go. Select the workspace. Uh, I will create a new workspace for you guys. It will be Let's do this workspace uh, for the win. Yeah, I'm liking that name. All right, let's head enter there, and now we should should start creating our workspace for us. Uh, yeah, what I, again? I love Eclipse. It, Make just makes it so easy. Everything is automatically, you know, loaded, generated. So, anyways, yeah, great tool, great tool. So, yeah, right now it's loading up. I'm just simply going to entertain you guys by showing you my absolutely huge desktop. Yeah, I know, I know. Just, just, you know. Just keep that in mind, I am not, I don't have a very nice desktop, that's why I just kind of, you know, use all the other folders on my computer to store my files. Anyways, Eclipse is uh, just loaded up, and it'll give you this nice welcome method, me 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 sorry, message. Uh, yeah, you might want to check some of this stuff out. Um, just to get familiar with the uh, workspace, but uh, if you watch my tutorials, you should be uh, good with that too. So, anyways, let's let's close out of that, and you should see your uh, very nice new workspace here. Uh, this is the Project Explorer. Shows all hierarchies for all packages, all your files. Uh, at the I'll explain all the other stuff later, but this is the main window. This is where you edit code right here. Anyways, just hit File, New, and uh, Project. Here you want to select a uh, new Java project. Click Next. Uh, wait till it loads up. It should give you a really nice Java project wizard. Uh, and let's see. Right. 
I gotta have to use my creativity here. Uh, all right, YouTube. Okay, that was uh, slightly less creative than I imagined. Nevertheless, I gotta give it credit. Gotta gotta give it credit. All right. All right. Let's. All right. Next, uh, here's the hierarchy. You should be fine with it. Uh, so click finish. Bam! Build your project. This kind of project is associated with the Java perspective. This perspective is designed to support Java development. It offers a package explorer, a type hierarchy, and Java-specific navigation. Actually, okay. Yes. I don't have to, you know, read the entire thing for you guys, you know. Alright. There we go. Now we see this nice project package right here. So simply expand that and you should see a source folder. Now let's, I'm not going to tell you, I'm not going to explain exactly what I'm doing right now, but simply right click on this folder, go to new class. Now I'll explain everything about classes and uh, code, all the basic code you guys need to know in the next few tutorials, but honestly just bear with me right now. Simply type in a class name, uh, Main class. I know that's that's very creative, but you know, hit uh, enter there, finish, and shabam, we have a new class created here, and it just opened it in uh, the main the main code editing window here. Should already already see some code in it. Uh, I'll I'll honestly explain this uh, all this stuff. In the next tutorial, right now, if you've gotten up to this point with no errors, you should be fine. Uh, thank you guys. Please uh, comment, rate, and subscribe. I'll come up with a new tutorial as fast as I can.